work in one of the big prestigious hotels in Glasgow City Centre uh, on a zero hours contract. Uh, I initially picked up so it would fit in with my studies, but now I've just about finished and I'm still working there for about six months or so. So what were your expectations going into the job? Well, the hotel itself, as I said, is one of the more prestigious ones in the city. So I did expect that the conditions would maybe reflect that, um, that we would be well trained in order to provide a good service for the customers who come in and who are paying a lot of money. Um, I thought that the, the conditions in general would be quite good and that there would be guaranteed hours every week. Um, the rate of pay would be fine. We wouldn't have issues with things like breaks, etc. But um, unfortunately, that's not really been the case. So tell us how it's turned out to be then. Well, we have issues with particularly tips. Um, the, tra the system isn't transparent at all and quite a large portion of the money has been kept by the company that I, that I work for uh, and not being distributed to the staff who are being paid less than a living wage uh, in order to do a job which actually is quite difficult and we are worked very hard and we're not seeing the money that we think that we're entitled to, that people are leaving for us. Um, there's also some issues of security in the hotel uh, as well as more general things around having the reality of zero hours contracts, having shift cancels at short notice, being sent home early etc. We're trying really hard just now to um, change some of the issues that we are um, concerned about. We, For a while we weren't getting any breaks at all and we did raise that as an issue and now that's mostly been resolved which is good. Um, we're fighting about our tips just now. I was aware from as soon as I started that the conditions weren't right in the hotel but there's not any sense of unionising at all or there wasn't anyway when I started. Um, nearly everyone's on zero hours contracts which makes it very difficult because there's a real sense of fear around standing up to your employers and saying we don't want to accept these conditions that you're putting in for us and eventually um, enough was enough. I can't really remember the straw that broke the camel's back but I was like I'm going to have to get in touch with a union and I'd seen some stuff um, online about the Fair Hospitality Charter which was a list of demands that Unite were proposing for hospitality workers and I thought that they would be the good un a good union um, to get in touch with, so I did. And yeah, I've been a member ever since. And we are starting to see change. There are more people in the hotel who are like beginning to say, yeah, we can do something with this, like, we can change this, which is really exciting. Yep. Um, you, you were elected chair of your branch. How did that come about? So Unite never actually had a hospitality branch until February. Uh, when they launched the branch and when they launched the branch they obviously needed a committee and yeah it was just that meeting a few of us decided to put ourselves up for um, office bearing positions and I ended up the chair. wasn't really sure what being the chair involved but it's been yeah it's been good. It's a learning good. curve for you. Definitely. Yeah. So um, just finally what would you say to other young people working in the hospitality sector or any other sector where where they see injustice or unfair treatment? Well like I I work in the hospitality sector as well. I know how scary it is to take on your employers. I think the most important thing you can do is know your own rights. So, for example, where I work, a lot of people didn't think that hospitality workers were entitled to 11 hour, hours break between when they finished at night and when they started in the morning. Um, but it obviously isn't true. Like It's the same for all workers. Uh, so knowing your rights, and if you're not sure what your rights are, get in touch with the union. Definitely being in a union is the best thing that we can all do to make our conditions better. Uh, I know how scary it is in these workplaces where there's not uh, a union already in place, but it is so much easier um, to fight for what you want, having like the backing and the support of the union behind you. And I, I couldn't recommend it enough to anyone who's in a similar position to me.